Hello and welcome to the TrueSight Operations Management version 10.0 beta video series. This video will concentrate on synthetic transactions. The components of the synthetic transaction solution come from the application visibility component of TrueSight Operations Management 10.0. Some of the underlying components are the Transaction Execution Adapter or TEA agent, Silk Performer, which allows you to create the synthetic scripts that run on the TEA agents. Previous versions of BMC's synthetic solution only allowed tying to the applications from an eventing perspective. In TrueSight Operations Management 10.0, the synthetic transaction solution is tied directly to the applications to show performance, availability, and errors. Let's take a closer look. I have logged into TrueSight Operations Management 10.0 as admin, and I'm going to navigate to the configuration page. Under the configuration page, I'm going to go to synthetic scripts. In this video, I'm not going to cover how to create synthetic transactions. It is the same development GUI that has been used in past BMC solutions for creating these scripts. Once your script is created and exported, you have to get it into the TrueSight Operations Management platform. You do this by navigating to Configuration and Synthetic Scripts, clicking on your Action menu, and say Add Scripts. You can then browse to your script and then upload it. After you upload it, it will be available to you to be deployed to your TEA agents. You can see that there are some that I can delete or replace. These are scripts that I have created. The other scripts that I can't manage from here are included with the solution. Things such as a pinger, or SMT pinger, a URL checker. Now how do we deploy these scripts to an application and begin getting the performance and availability metrics? Navigate to Configuration and Applications. If you remember in our previous video, I covered in this particular screen the different ways that applications are created automatically or dynamically, if you will, because of the installation of an application visibility agent on an application server or manually created models that you create in the TrueSight Operations Management GUI. You'll also notice that out to the right-hand side, there's a column called synthetic, on or off. No matter if the application is dynamically or manually created, the synthetic column will always be in the off position and it's something you have to go and configure for yourself. I'm going to go ahead and select an application and walk you through the steps of, of how to deploy a synthetic transaction. I'm going to select the partner application that I previously created in a manual fashion. I'm going to select the action menu and go to edit. And you'll notice the only tab I have is for model where I created this model in the previous video. Under synthetic, you'll notice that it is turned off. If I use the drop down, turn it on, and hit the save button, I get a new tab called synthetic. Using the action menu, I'm going to edit the application, go to the synthetic tab, and this is where I can define my service level objectives. So threshold latency, availability, and accuracy errors. And I can also configure my blackout settings, when not to run the script. And this is also where I can define my execution plans. Which scripts to run from which locations on which frequency. Using the action menu next to execution plans, I can add a plan. Or if I had an existing plan, I could activate or deactivate those plans. I'm going to add an execution plan. First thing you do is give the plan some sort of name. This is the name that will appear back in the console under the synthetic transaction component within the application. I'm going to call this billing. I can set the plan to active 
and then I select the script that I want to use as playback. I'm going to select a previously created synthetic script. Then you select the execution schedule, how often to run it, and what the timeout period is between runs if it encounters errors. The last thing you want to do is select locations. These locations are based upon your TEA agents that you have previously installed. If you remember when installing the TEA agent, you give it a location name. I only have one TEA agent in my environment and I called it Houston. That's the one I will be selecting. At the end, you can hit the Save button and save the entire application. And I've just added a synthetic transaction to the Partners application. Let's navigate over to the monitoring area and applications. We'll come back to the Partners application as it hasn't had time to execute yet, and we will concentrate on an application that already has a synthetic transaction configured. Let's go to the electricity application. The first thing you will notice is you will get an application view. And in that application view, you will get have the synthetic tier, which is now activated. If I click on the synthetic tier, I can see which execution plan is having the issue. I can see that this one has 100% of impacted executions, and it's a latency violation. Or I can go directly to problems and see the open impact. It happens to be performance. Using the action menu, we can show locations. If you remember right, I only have one location, which is Houston. If I drill into Houston to show the executions, I can see the total number of executions for the time period above, which is, in my case, five minutes. I can also show the last hour and show each and every execution. So I can see that I have no availability, accuracy, or execution error errors in the last hour, but I do have some latency issues. To get details on the latency issues, I can select the action menu. I can look at the execution log, which would require a download to this box. So you click on execution log and request the download. It would bring all of that execution log information directly from the TE agent to my screen. I could also look at custom timers. So in the Silk Performer Development Tool, as you're creating the scripts, you can insert timers into your script to time how long it takes to do certain things that you give names to. In my case, there's some edit buttons and report buttons and submit buttons, and so I timed all of those to see which, if any of these, were the cause of my latency issues. I can also look at page timers. So the tool itself will decipher the different pages or components of a page and time those for you automatically. And last, if there were any error messages, execution error messages, they would appear here. So as you can see, this was directly related to the application from both an event and data perspective without having to do any other configuration. Let's go back to that partner application that I in instrumented a few minutes ago. So as you can see, by turning on the synthetic transactions, I now have this application view and I have my synthetic tier for the partner application. That's synthetic tra transactions in a quick view. Thank you for watching.